Hi there. They call me the governor. And last episode in this reflective series, it ended with a hell of a party. Well, if you're a biter, it was a really good party. Good thing Jim dug all those holes, and it certainly saved them some time. So now with Rick the Prick back at camp, Shane unable to diddle Lori anymore, and Andrea upset over Amy, kind of know where they go from here, but it's fun to watch. So let's check out episode five of the first season, Wildfire, time to react. Morgan, I don't know if you're out there. Still trying to reach I don't know Morgan. Can hear me? Are you listening right now? You'll see him eventually. I hope so. Do not enter the city. Especially during Dragon Con. Or the cosplayers. We lost people. But the Biters had a nice meal. Watch yourself, Morgan. Take care of your boy. <laughs> Uh, poor Andrea. Losing her sister that way. We all cared about her and I promise we'll be as, as gentle as we can. As you shove a knife in her head. <laughs> That's the way we do it. <laughs> Pickaxe. That's how gentle they'd be with it. Amy. She's been there all night. What do we do? It's not the only thing she does all night. <laughs> now you're kind of regretting teaching her how to use that gun. Some turn quick, some takes a while. Amy's a late bloomer. Ah, the old intro. So much different than what they had in the last season. <laughs> Damn, Daryl is so impetuous. And he talks a lot more than he did in a lot of the seasons until the end. We don't find them! Damn, he's... We bury them. Emotional. Understand? Besides, you Jimbo... So <laughs> basically I'm set up understand. all the, uh... <laughs> holes. You got the old fine. Didn't show me. <laughs> Jackie ain't taking no <laughs> malarkey from you, man. So much for don't tell. This is not the first time he threatened people with a shovel. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I don't think you are. <laughs> do you want to were you? Yeah, I'd say you why you did it. I, I bet you would. Maybe Daryl's right. <laughs> yeah, I think they eventually find that armor base and it doesn't quite work. A little ironic that you're pointing a gun at Daryl. Come before a man and just put a gun in my head. I came to pay my respects. Very nice of you, Dale. Cancer, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I that's a, every doctor, a bitch, every I tell you. Test that I cared anything for. And you got quite the hard on for Andrea now, don't you? This is her birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Her birthday was always like that. At least you can finally give her a present that you stole. Ah, uh, the beginning of the Daryl and Carol thing. I think you're gonna enjoy this way too much, Carol. And this is like a glimmer of things to come. <laughs> Catharsis, right there. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> this is what we call closure. Uh oh. <laughs> She's starting to turn. This is not the resurrection in the light. <laughs> Forgive me. 
for not ever being there. This is very I touching, but it's going to go bad real quick. You don't want to give her one last meal? Well, that was a waste of a bullet. You should use a knife. Back when we did, I think our losses would have been a lot worse. This is quite the debate. The camp. Chapman gets all emotional. This is not the thing to do. We just follow him along. He's Korean. What is he having some kind of psychic forward flash? She is stubborn, but she sometimes gets the job done. Are we safe now, Dad? Are no. <laughs> oh, he's so small. <laughs> Looking at him now. She blames me for not. That makes us weaker. Well, she's you not know, wrong. You're right, but I understand that. It's the best I can do right now. And is his dick bigger? Can you say that? What about the CDC? I love you. I guess he's certain about that. So I don't know why. I found you here that's got laughing while well, you make plans. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I like it. <coughs> Every minute you wait. Look, the CDC thing. Lori's a mistake. Is it now? Show you better. What else would I do if he's last? Look, it may be time to have it. You need to break. <laughs> I guess I've just had to miss to have it sit on break. Whether I like it or not. Very true. Just talking about my need for a plan, man. <laughs> and so your wife. Maybe I just want to stay here. We could hang some more tin cans. We can't stay here. We both know that. I was just telling Shane, I think we should trust your gut. Where are you now? Is that what you were saying? We're looking for a lifeline. I say swim toward the closest shit, not further out to sea. Now that's a Why can't you back pretty good I want to idea. See. I don't see it. Uh, if it was your family, you'd feel differently. <laughs> How little you know. I kept them safe, man. I looked after them, but they were nothing. They were my own. That's what I did, bitch. And he fucked daddy. your wife. How'd you mean it? There's a Punisher. A mistake in the woods? Yeah. I don't know about that. I kind of want him to take the shot, but, you know. <laughs> you have to start wearing reflective vests out here. <laughs> nice cover. Seriously? Out here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Dale buys your story. Trust his instincts. And you feel bad about almost shooting him. I say the most important thing here is we need to stay together. We're heading to the CDC. If there's anything left, it's got to be there, don't you think? Uh, there's something left. Walking. For a little bit. It has taken him a long time to turn. You got a problem? You probably you should have left you yesterday. Or anything at all, you're going to hit your horn one time. You might have had a chance. There, uh... To, you know, be a test subject. I gotta do what's best for my family. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we know how that turns out, Mr. Savior. Good luck, man. <laughs> See you and kill you later. Well, I think Daryl kills him. Ah, the days when they actually had some gasoline. I mean, driving. At that rate of speed to the CDC, you should be there very soon. Even 100 miles would have been, you know, what, a couple hours? I want to be with my family. There you go. 
<laughs> That's exactly it. I don't think you know what you're asking. Yeah. He's dying, might as well no, respect right. him. Absolution given. That's what he said he wants. We asked Jim what he wants. Well, there you go. Be I nice to be asked. It's not your call. I'm on you. Laura's right? What the fuck? <sighs> Another damn tree. <laughs> hey, Jim. <laughs> Remember me, the one who totally told everybody that you were bitten? You're fighting for us. And for digging all those holes. Because, you know, that saves some time. Daryl wants to put a bolt through his head. <laughs> Wait, a Daryl nod of approval? I guess they found a hose. There's no clinical Wildfire. I know the feeling. A pandemic will do that. Ask a lot of people. That's subject 19. Looks like something uh, that would go on Hannibal's table. That's some wacky screensaver. Well, you got sleepy and careless. That's gonna happen. Well, that's uh, exciting. Hey, you got wine. You can get fresher ones. Who are you talking to? Maybe somebody in France, you never know. I think tomorrow I'm gonna to blow my brains out. Well, you know, that's a plan. I have to decide. Uh, but tonight. If you don't, you can always tonight. do it another day. Pretty far, I bet. Pretty far, I bet. <laughs> that is not the welcoming committee that they really wanted to see. But, you know, still looks pretty good. Come on, move along. That's one thing that they forget about in later seasons is the stench. And apparently moving dead bodies don't get as many flies as still ones. That don't make sense. Well, a tank, I had one of those. There you go. What? No, it moved. <laughs> Fucking lot of men, goddammit. God damn it, just a lot of men. There we go, hallelujah. Get in there now. Well, I had forgotten a lot of that. <laughs> Rick almost getting blown away by Shane. I think he made the decision, but Dale would have known. Wow, a lot going on. But I think if Shane had shot Rick, I don't know that Lori would come running back into Shane's arms after that. But while we know what eventually happens to Morales in the Vito's family, we never find out what Jim got up to after he turned. That would be a hell of a web series. Jim the Biter and his adventures in Georgia. Though I gotta say, Jim was an interesting character. I, li I liked what he was saying. It's a shame he got bit. He would have been interesting to see in future seasons. He's got a little bit of the psychic power. You know, he's got interesting sayings. The whole, you know, that sound is God laughing while you make plans. That's, that's a great saying. But anyways, we're at the CDC and Dr. Jenna 
who was a little drunk, was kind enough to let Rick and his crew in saving the day. And the next episode we know is going to be very informative for Rick. But I'll be here to point and insult him, you know. But while you're waiting for the next reaction, and of course Dead City, which won't be until June now, be sure to check out this video over here, which is a nice reaction to Rick almost dying. And of course, subscribe, like, share, comment, the usual. See you soon. Governor out.